All right, so let's get to the good stuff, pressure points and strains. So where do our relationship have strains overall and how do we deal with them from each of our unique perspectives? So I'm going to start with Megan's. So like any relationship, and the relationship between a faculty member and a research administrator can be strained at times. Uh, we do stressful work and we have deadlines uh, that are sometimes impossible to, to plan for. So I think the most strain that Nick and I have experienced in our working relationship has been around those deadlines when they've come up and we've had to change things at the last minute um, because of a co-investigator's effort or the topic switched because we had, you know, in integrate other people's feedback to something. Um, one example is I was submitting an R01 when I was pregnant with my first child and I wanted to go on a baby moon with my husband. And so I wanted to get it done early. But that didn't work with Nick's schedule, which is totally understandable to do it two weeks early just because I was going on vacation. So I completed all the documents from my side. I sent him the science and a whole bunch of different emails and said, take care of it um, while I'm gone. And I went on vacation and I told him I was not bringing my computer, uh, but he could text me if there was any sort of emergency. And lo and behold, I got a text uh, probably three days into my baby moon with my husband saying, uh, your research strategy is one page too long. <laughs> so for some reason, I don't know, blame it on the pregnancy, um, I had an extra page of text that I needed to cut. And so I found a computer and cut an entire page of text and sent it back to him. And, you know, it all worked out and we got it done. Um, but that was stressful. Um, and it was because the timing didn't work out for the two of us to be working on it at the same time. I think the way that we worked through that stress and that strain was because we had um, set expectations about who was responsible for what. And so when I had sent him all the stuff, um, I knew that I had done my part. And then when one of my parts was wrong, he contacted me and I fixed it and sent it back and I could trust him to pull it all together um, and submit it. And that proposal, by the way, was funded. So uh, it all worked out. Okay, so that's Megan's perspective about some of the pressure points and strains. So let me talk to, let me talk a little bit about strains from my perspective, which I think all of you probably would agree on depending on who you work with, when you work, when you're working and your overall research and research career. You know, time management is always a strain. There's a lot going on, especially around proposal deadlines. This last R01 deadline in the midst of doing, you know, I'm 70% on sponsored research. So a lot of project related work and all the other things I manage HR and space and people, my team, everything beneath it, you know, I had 10 R01s to submit. So time management is, can be a strain and a pressure point for both of us. When Megan was here, she was part of that problem because she would always submit like four for the same one. And then she always got them funded in twos, one after the other, two, then two, then two. So then you had two big data collection projects going at the same time, which is confusing enough. Um, a pressure point is, you know, making sure you know each person's individual roles, who's doing what, who's working on what, and how we're working together. Um, if I had a mantra of my career and something that I basically drill into my staff over and over again is we will always under promise and over deliver. Okay, if I had a t-shirt made that I would wear to a research administration day, that's what it would be. Under promise and over deliver. You know, one of the pressure points is doing the opposite. Every once in a while, even me, you overpromise and you underdeliver, and that helps erode that erodes trust. So I try to always be careful. I never try to overpromise. You know, sometimes there's too much work to do. Listen, research administrators and faculty on this call, if there are any, I want you all to get outside the idea of every answer you have is there's too much work. There's I'm doing too much. There's too much stuff going on. You know, it's just like saying no. I use that strategically. Yeah, there's lots of times where it's really busy, but like there are a lot of times where it's busy, but I can find some time to get something done, okay? But that is a pressure point because there are times where I would tell Megan, I am too busy today to do this. I'm gonna have to do it tomorrow. And being clear when I can't help. You know, when I'm stretching myself to try to be helpful, there would be times where they would try to give me things where I'm like, this is so outside the bounds of what a research administrator could do, of what even I could do, and I understand what's going on, and I would tell them, this is not something that I can help with, but be open, be honest, have a good building blocks of a relationship so you'd feel comfortable saying 